Immigrant and religious minority students here at Boston University are bracing themselves in the wake of a tumultuous election season. Valdia Barapucci feels like she is a target for three reasons. She is a woman, she is a Muslim, and she is an immigrant. I moved here thinking that, oh, probably here people would have more common sense because, you know, it's America. But then after the election result, I felt like, wow, this is pretty much feel like home. Kind of afraid me that i probably not going to land jobs here or probably it's going to be a lot tougher. One BU student chose to be anonymous, only comfortable stating her fears through text. We are terrified. I felt betrayed and unwanted after seeing the results of the election. And after beginning to hear about the spike in hate crimes, we're all taking many more precautions just to step outside the door. I don't travel without a friend or family member with me. This gumball represents the one million legal immigrants that the United States has taken every year on average since 1990. Roy Beck, whose firm is Numbers USA, supports Trump's immigration plans. They are not an official advisor, but reaffirm that millions of immigrants will be deported. You not only don't want to have foreign citizens illegally coming in and taking jobs, but you also want to, you, you don't want to bring so many new legal immigrants in. That, that, that is the overall philosophy that I believe is guiding uh, Trump's top advisors on this issue. And it is the, it's the number one philosophy that, uh, that my organization has promoted. Beck and Firm are pleased with the current immigration policy and its point to curb even legal immigration. As if getting a job post-graduation was hard enough, immigrant and minority students are facing an uncertain future. I'm Brittany Finnegan for BU TV 10.